We're going to Nassau Community College for freshman orientation lecture. They've named it Homeless to Hollywood. I've never been homeless. I have no idea where they got that. They do that to us colored folks, you know. But you no one's ever told Brad Pitt he was homeless to Hollywood. I think that the worst and the most traumatizing stereotypes are the ones that are not necessarily expressed. It's just that this feeling that you get that you're you're not you know you're that that, you, they, that that someone or something wants you to feel inferior, and um, that you're not good enough. Can I just ask you one question, you know what? man? You have to wait, okay? What? No, I made. I was not born a Latino. However, I do have a Puerto Rican assistant. You are so good. Thank God. You should be a personal assistant. She's amazing. A Cinco de Mayo south of the border party off campus at University of Delaware. Students dressed as landscapers with Pedro and Jose name tags on their work shirts. Written on the back, Spick and Span Gardeners. How much long are you going to be? Oh, this is the last one. Thank you. I right away started hearing the jokes, you know, oh, we do hubcaps and, and we, we have switchblades and we cut. I would like the locks changed again in the morning. And you know what? You might mention that we'd appreciate it if next time they didn't send a gang member. A gang member? Yes, yes. Well, you mean that kid in there? Yes, the guy in there with the shaved head, the pants around his oh, ass, the prison tattoo. Yeah. And, you know, we have a lot of kids and... You feel angry a lot of the time? So now you're going to try and psychologize me? You're going to try and figure me out? I'll help you. I come from a broken home and we're poor, okay? I see the same fucking movies you do, man. I would like to help you, Emilio. Thank you very much. And how would you like to do that? You're going to give me some good advice? You better go back to school and learn how to read and write English and study the Constitution, the laws of this country. If you go to school and study and don't get into one of those gangs... What do you got? Answer your pants? Chill, Holmes. Don't mess with me, Holmes. <laughs> Holmes! You heard me, S.A. Yeah. I've seen so many here that wasted everything. You promised! Yeah, but we had to. We couldn't walk around with our heads up no more. We got a reputation to protect. You a Marine, you understand? Like, if America didn't stand up, everyone would attack it. Well, in our neighborhood, if you don't stand up, you can't walk down the street, because everyone will attack you, you know? Rato, you fucking puto! Man, I cracked that motherfucker's See, head, that's it. Don't be rude, that's it. You be invited guests, eh? Why don't you sit down and play one hand? There you go. Don't swear to who don't we ain't playing for money. Nah, it's just we gotta roll in a second, you know? Alonzo's taking this shit. Go ahead, take your seat. <laughs> Alright, I'll play one hand. What you guys got going on here? Five card draw? Yeah, jokers are wild. Jokers are wild. Come to hey, so, uh, why don't you tell us something, Oss? How long you been a pig? <laughs> <laughs> my bad, my, 
I meant a, I meant a police officer. That, that's what I meant. I've been a pig for 19 months. Is that right? That's right. And you like it or what? I should have been a fireman. I need one more. <clears throat> what you got, dog? Three of a kind, three jacks. Ah, oh, Jingo. Didn't give shit. Yeah, booyah, baby! Super! Super! No! What the fuck are you doing, sniper? What get one? Smiley, oh, they got two pair, eh? <laughs> Give a kind beast two pair, you fucking dumb truck. Serio? Serio. Hey, you're fucking <sighs> stupid. Hey, Kimo, you proud of me? I'm the first dude here. Let's call us. Go to college, then I applaud you. What about you, Piston? How you want to get an apartment together? I can't afford it. Oh, no sweat. Did your parents pay for it? They can't. Why not? Because my dad, he got laid off from McDonald Douglas last year, and the IRS audited him. My parents could barely afford to send me here. Well, but you are here. I'm here. And I'm happy. Well, you know, my roommate's a Mexican, so... But she got a scholarship. Ugh. Shut Dodgy coat, Gucci pants, or Ralph Lauren skirt, Manolo pumps? Oh, they're both divine. Let's see. How about the pants, open sandals, see-through blouse, colored bra, and I'd care the Dolce coat for fact. Maria? Huh? She barely speaks English. And learn Wait. how to speak hey. English. I speak English just fine. You do, but yeah. these people don't. Yeah. I'm talking English and what? No! We you see us I'm so y'all? Yeah. Why am I upset? Yeah, I just want to understand. <laughs> okay. I went to Lowe's today, uh -huh. and the cashier was mm -hmm. speaking Spanish. Mm -hmm. I particularly don't enjoy speaking Spanish in my country. One of my early experiences is uh, the, the teacher uh, asked me to stand up in front of the room and talk about the lions and tigers and snakes in Puerto Rico. So who am I to argue with the teacher? I stood up. And I was a barefoot boy but with a lot of cheek, you know. I got up and I talked about the lions and the tigers and the things in Puerto Rico. I made it up. But, you know, we were seen as savages. We came from the jungle. What are you doing? Huh? You hey, say, well, what is this? You say you were going to drive me home. To the Bronx? Are you out of your mind? No, no. Cab fare. Yes. Here. I don't think so. Oh, I think so. Here. Here's more money. Don't make me go off, all right? You don't want to see me go off. Come on. I would have said you were Mexican, but I don't think it would have pissed her off as much. <laughs> I came in 1922 when I was five and a half. And I arrived in April, and I started school in September. And Puerto Ricans did not exist in New York in those days. What I mean by that is nobody knew what a Puerto Rican was. And we would be asked, what are you? And we would have to say, we're Spaniards, because they wouldn't know what Puerto Rico was. And how about a geography lesson? My father's from Puerto Rico. My mother's from El Salvador. Neither one of those is Mexico. What are you? I'm a Puerto Rican. Oh, where is that again? These questions were proposed to me in college? What do you mean, where is Puerto Rico? What are you, a moron? Ah, uh, well, then I guess the big mystery is... Who gathered all those remarkably different cultures together and taught them all how to park their cars on their lawns? You Goya bean eating 15 in a car, 30 in an apartment, pointy shoes, red wearing, menudo, meet a meet a Puerto Rican cocksucker? Yeah, you! I have a new apartment, okay? What did I tell you about that? Oh, that's nice, you know. Leave them here. I'm over here. Thank you. You might have been okay? I got it. I'm taking care of it. I got it. Stop throwing your stereo at each other. Come Don't tell them to stop. They can do whatever they want in my house. Oh, they can do what? Bobby said you can do whatever you want in my house. He's cleaning up. Bobby's cleaning up. I'll stand by the Come on, Angie. i tell you one thing I never lied about. I love you. And I love you, too. Gino, come on, sweetie, we gotta go to the store now. Kiss Papi, bye bye. Papi? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? He's Richie's father, that's what that means. 
You tell me right now if that's your kid. No. No? No! No! no. no. What do you mean no? I, I no. Said, this kid could be anybody's, Maggie. You don't know for sure if he's mine. Right? In California's Santa Clara University, white students dressed as Latino janitors, gardeners, and pregnant teens at a similar south of the border party last February. To know that my own peers um, have looked down upon the Latino community and see us in this manner and have called us derogatory terms, it was just shocking.